Uh, tell us a little bit about Games for Change and why you thought that Half the Sky Movement game was such a perfect fit for your team to produce. Sure, so, have, so Games for Change is a nonprofit. We're based here in New York City. And uh, our mission is to catalyze social impact through digital games. So one of the things we do is executive produce projects like Half the Sky Movement. Um, we also run a festival for those who are interested in games and social impact. We have our 10th anniversary coming up uh, this June, June 17 through 19 in New York. So that's a little bit about who we are. And, and just in terms of our website, people are interested, they should check out gamesforchange.org. Um, I think that it was it was such a great opportunity, you know, with so many amazing partners from a public sector, private sector, and the idea that you have, you know, Nicholas Christoph and Sheryl Woodan involved. It was almost like the perfect storm for us, you know. And uh, and also the the fact that the game is part of something larger, because there is a book, there is a TV show. Um, it was very interesting for us. As far as women's rights go. Um, what are the specific concerns that the game addresses? Well, you can answer. It's a range of issues. So, just like the book, After Sky covers um, problems as well as solutions. The, the main themes are maternal health, women's health, uh, economic empowerment, education, um, sex trafficking, and gender-based violence. So, it's a range of issues, and we're trying to touch on all of them, but also show what are the solutions and which nonprofits are working on the ground every day to tackle those issues. What's the development process like in terms of producing the game? Whoa. <laughs> loaded, loaded question. Um, we were just talking about it earlier. I mean, it's essentially been about one year, almost exactly, between finding, you know, securing the first bit of funding for the game to now actually getting to launch. So the development process, um, Let's say that the process to find the money was a, three times as long or twice as long as the process of actually going into development. And one of the things that we should mention, which is Games Retain is the executive producer. We're not a, a game studio. The studio that made the game is a company called Freema Studio based up in Quebec City in Canada. And they're going to be here. So you should talk to them. Absolutely. I mean, the one thing I would say that we, had, we were very lucky to have Zynga was, uh, you know, this is the company that is now leading the Facebook game space to be supportive and very helpful from testing to advice to help us with distribution. So that was a big boost to the whole project. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to answer thank some you. questions. Thank and uh, you. you're, you're backing a great thing. And uh, so we all thank you very, very much. Thank you.